Child. I'm speechless. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Sang. Now she can sing. <laughs> Not sing. Sang. <laughs> okay, you may know our next guest from her hit songs, my favorite, Nobody's Supposed to Be Here. I normally would sing it, but I don't want to disrespect you. <laughs> and that song actually held the longest record for the running number one single on Billboard's hot R&B hip-hop single for eight years. I didn't know that. Goodness. Very impressive. Wow, and now Deborah Cox is back on Broadway right. in the musical revival of Jekyll and Hyde. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Arise Entertainment Hello. 360, yes. the ever gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank Deborah you for me. What's up? <laughs> Woo, the <laughs> voice. That's what's up. <laughs> you were amazing at not only that clip, but also in Aida. I mean, we, thank you. I saw it. My wife and I went about almost 10 years ago. Yes. And it's glad to have you back on Broadway. Oh, it's glad. To, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm really happy to be back. Theater, musical theater. Being in a production like this has been a dream come true. A role like this doesn't very, you know, doesn't come along that often. And when I got asked to do the role, to play this woman, this complex mm -hmm. role, and to sing these epic songs every single night, I jumped at the opportunity. Wow. Now talk to us about your character. Her name is Lucy Harris. Lucy Harris. And you've said that she's <laughs> Not, she's a lady of the night. She's a lady of the night. She's a harlot with a heart. Oh. <laughs> you can a look that up and Google it. <laughs> but she's a she's harlot a, with a heart. Yes. That's oh, great. I like so that. what's it like to play someone that sultry, that sexy every night? It's a very complex role. Mm -hmm. It's the most challenging role I've ever played before because she's so overtly sexy. She wears mm -hmm. her sexuality on her sleeve, but she's very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. She falls in love with Henry Jekyll, who's the good side of mm -hmm. um, Jekyll and Hyde. Um, she um, gets into a bit of a love triangle with mm -hmm. that situation as well because he's also engaged to be married. Um, but she tends to bring out the good in people, even though she's in a bad situation herself. Yeah. She motivates something good out of a tragic situation. Hmm. Now, how would you say that that character is different from the real Deborah Cox? Besides well, the, the Lady of the <laughs> Night part. <laughs> right, right, right. Um, well, I'm much more laid back. I'm much mm -hmm. more, I uh, have a quiet confidence, you know, mm -hmm. where Lucy is very um, outspoken. She's a, uh, she's a prowess. She's very, she's got a very, you know, sultry, uninhibited side. I'm much more shy and much more, a bit conservative in some ways, you know, but um, that's what's fun about this role mm. is I get a chance to play that right. and, mm -hmm. and, you know, be myself, you know, when, when, the, when the curtain's down and I'm in my own crib and You're I'm chilling, okay. I'm, uh, you know, I'm doing much more reserved. Thing. Yeah, more doing my reserved. own thing, yeah. Has, her, has playing a sex bomb every night, <laughs> has that, you know, infiltrated? Oh, my husband Deborah loves it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fire in your relationship. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we fired things up. Um, but uh, it's, it's been fun to play, you know, it, it takes place in London, it's got a mm -hmm. Victorian, edgy, sexy, dark um, uh, tone to it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and at the same time, it's telling a great story. It's based off of the Robert Louis Stevenson novella. So it's got the foundation of the Jekyll and Hyde story, which is mm -hmm. the duality of man, good and evil, dealing with all of that. But it shows just, you know, the side of human behavior and mental illness and what we deal with and go through as people when we're trying and striving to make ourselves better. And sometimes a good decision can actually turn into something bad. Well, mm -hmm. how does this compare to being in the studio, being mm -hmm. on stage? Oh, it's very different, mm -hmm. very different. The studio is much more isolating. Mm -hmm. There's no, um, there's no, there's no audience. Response. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. no immediate response. There's no exchange from the audience. You know, it's a very different situation. I am a part of a big picture, part of telling a big story, you know, and I'm with a cast, I'm with an orchestra. Mm -hmm. There's a you know, there's musicians, there's, you know, sets and lights, and it's it's a bigger way of telling a story. You talk so passionately about it. <laughs> Which one do you like more, singing on stage for your audience in a live concert, or more so the Broadway stage? Well, mm. both of them, I think with this, I get to do it all. I mm. get to sing, I get to dance, I Very get true. to act, mm. you know? Triple singing threat. Singing of, yeah, absolutely, it's all about the triple threat. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I still love singing, and I'm still uh -huh. recording, and I'm still doing that as well, but mm. this gives me the opportunity to do it every single night, eight shows a week here in New York, on Broadway, mm. on a major stage. Um, singing these songs. Uh, a lot of people don't know that the music was written by Frank Wildhorn and Leslie mm -hmm. Brickus. Oh. Frank Wildhorn wrote Where Do we, Where Do Broken Hearts Go for Whitney Houston. He did a lot oh, of great wow. bag, ballads in the mm -hmm. 80s. And Leslie Brickus is an icon in mm -hmm. himself. He did a lot of stuff for Sammy Davis Jr. Um, so there's these two great worlds that have come together to put the music to this show. 
that um, give me the opportunity to just sing, you know, well, every we've night. Got to have another Deborah Cox yeah. club banger, as oh the kids my gosh. say. Well, that's coming out in another <laughs> week. Oh right, that's uh -oh. great. The Let dance me, version. The dance version. <laughs> yes, really? absolutely. Okay. okay, so in yeah. 2012, you garnered your 11th number one Billboard dance at 11. Hmm. If it wasn't for love, and mm. you're considered the queen of the dance club. <laughs> you really are. As so long as I'm a queen, it doesn't matter, you know. Well, was that I, something you set out to do, or did it just sort of fall into your lap and you decided, hey, I'm going to run with this? It kind of fell into my lap. Mm -hmm. You know, people heard the versions. They heard, who do you love? Things are saying the same, all that stuff. And they loved it. And it just kind of just took off on its own, mm -hmm. you know? Um, and it's been great because I've been able to travel the world doing, you know, these great dance songs and been, you know, highly visible in the circuit party community and the LGBT community yeah. and just, I've, I've just been embraced in so many different worlds and different realms, so. Um, I love it. I love wow. to sing. I love to sing different styles of music. So and we love to hear it. And I know you sure said do. you have a single coming out that's yes. going to be coming out really soon, the dance yes. mix. But what about your album? I know you're in the studio also working on that, I guess, in your spare time. <laughs> 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 your when can we expect to see that? Look out for that probably the end of this year, a uh, single. Yeah. Absolutely. I've been working. I started working on it last year, and then I got this, this show. Mm -hmm. And then we toured with it, and now we're finally back here on Broadway. So I'll get back in the studio and finish up the album. How do you balance it all? Because you're also married, as we spoke about, and you have three children, yeah. and then you have the music and Broadway. I got a great team, yeah. I must yeah. say. You know, okay. I couldn't do it without family and my, and my team, mm -hmm. my professional team, my manager, my husband, mm. um, my mother, my mother-in-law. You know, everybody chips in. It takes a village, you know, nice. not just with family, but with everything. <laughs> Goodness, and you're yeah. living in New York and your family's in Miami, so you're yeah. doing a long distance thing, I but do. you're making it work. <laughs> We make it work, we make it happen, you keep it moving. It's about um, having fun, doing what you do. I'm finally in a place now where I'm, I'm really genuinely happy doing what I, what I love to do. Oh, that's All so right. good to yeah. hear. Well, Miss Deborah Cox, thank you so much thank for being you. here. We are yes. genuinely- Congrats on the show, this thank is great. You. Thank, thank you, you. gotta you. come again, come yes, again. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Right. It's so good to see you. And I'll come and sing a little. Oh, oh now you're yes. talking. Yes. Well, yes. oh. How did you get here? Oh, oh yes. Ba, ba, ba. On no that note, so we're gonna wrap it up.